Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome to this video. I'm back. I'm back from um, Rio Cinema in, Dalst in Dalston for the grand final of Eurovision this year. Um, I just want to keep it quiet because uh, everyone is my roommate and the staff is asleep. It's why I just drink water before I hit the hay. I don't start because it's night time. Sorry, the, this light is not working. What about this one? Uh, so, I just went to the night bus for night N38 and we're taking a, a long walk from, from like, old, like Peter Bar, like through Peter Bar Road, and we get the quick cars to get a, a taxi right back home and then take my dad heading to onto Vicky's right near Croup, B Croup Billet. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was a fun night. <laughs> it's now two in the morning and I need to hit the hay quick so badly. So I'm pretty tired. So I really enjoyed the the grand final. It's like a Eurovision in cinema. This is the first time they'll be in the cinema in nationwide in the UK for the first time ever in the decades, in the decades of Eurovision. This is what it's all about. I'm um, glad to see Graham Norton is in the chair. Oh, also now there's a commentary with Sarah Cox has been presented in the UK commentary. And some of the like, commentary, like those commentaries you saw it right there, called the Ukrainian commentary, Timmer, and some of the which is Australian commentary, just eating breakfast for breakfast, <laughs> having having breakfast morning morning breakfast like a to like a fantastic n nice piece of nice beautiful toast and, and orange wash orange juice like all probably orange juice or water or to call it uh for you uh, australian viewers if you woke up at seven if you get up at uh, five a.m in the morning five o'clock in the morning in australia time or now it is now get into a morning morning spirit in 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 australia territories at the moment i want to say good morning australia <laughs> Let's have a really good morning, especially now in the evening. Good night uh, in Europe. And this is what the excitement is all about in Liverpool. Special, special good times. So I really enjoyed it. It's, it's been a nice, beautiful time. They've got like a wristband called You Fishing Party London, which is in in Rio, in Dawson, which is like in Rio, in Rio Cinema, Dawson, which is right there. So before that, we, me and my dad just had a German Donner, German Donner and Grand Chips, which is near, just right near, just right next to the Kingsland Shopping Centre and next on the left, which is Ridley Road or Ridley Road Market and just right nearby Graham Road, which is in Hackney. So this is what it's all about of Eurovision and especially seeing like a, an empty, um, empty Rid Ridley Road Market um, where I just took him uh, and a nighttime overnight London in East London and this is what it's all about in Dalston especially in Ridley Road I want to have like a market somehow I want to ask some stuff just want to walk around walking around East London and stuff like that somehow in um will be a good time to do active stuff because that's what active stuff like that if it's raining that was if it's if it's if it's nice if it was sunny or beautiful cloudy day but if it's if it, if, if it's nice it'd be great if if it's just rain or it spits or not even spit or damp or heavy rain, then it ain't ain't all too. So I will, I will do that. So I hope you'll do it in the active stuff away because then they'll go on the twenty third. That'll be a one once a week at the gym, once a week, and then we'll do it active stuff. You know, this is what it feels like. Um, just want to get like um, get these things pumping started, and this is what it is. Um, yeah, we had um German German. German kebab in German kebab this evening, and uh, I thought I have Domino's pizza, but this, no, but this time I'm gonna do having German German donner. That was a good idea. I will do have German donner. I never had a German donner. I think I had a lamb donner in a, a local Turkish kebab and Turkish kebab, and it's like a takeaway and stuff like that. Like a 
um, Kurdish like a Turkish or Kurdish kebab, but it's like a German doner, German kebab. It was really tasty, especially with the um, the uh, the, the Ferris wheel stuff, like a like a merry-go-round stuff with chips and stuff. Um, it just shows like a kebab, choosing a lamb doner, like a doner chips box, which is fantastic. Like glad I enjoy it alongside with with the. <laughs> Um, with a um, garlic mayo, and my dad had like a mixed kebab donna, what is it called? A German lamb, German kebab mix uh, with like, chili on it, and especially we've got some tomato and mayo, like like a little bit, small cup of ketchup, tomato ketchup, and mayo, and looks quite delicious. I will do it somehow um, another another month or another day, or what I call it. And then went to um, good timing at eight o'clock. Starting with the Austria, which is fantastic. I'm um, glad to see what's been happening as well. Poland was nice, pretty good by the way. I've chosen that one, but one of the kind favourites or somehow. Best one was Finland. Finland was very nice. Sweden, which is Lorraine, and especially I'm gonna say that in next say that um uh in a few minutes time. Well a few a few hours, a few minutes. Uh we got Belgium was really nice. Not from Australia, but I've tuned it really well of the band. It's not just Australia as a, an entry, but as the band that he dislike. And uh, it's quite swell with Croatia of like a mustache. It's been like a multi, like why is your multi Python sketch or multi Python, what you call it, kind of stuff. Like this is what was this kind of reminds me of like um weird kids show, I call it. <laughs> And like this one with the captain with the hats, like Black Adder and stuff. It's like a Black Adder in Outrageous in Black Adder, or call it like a comedy show. And that's a Twitter sport as well. It's like Monty Python stuff. Um, you know, Croatian star, um, show, what do you call it? With the mustache and the cat and the underwear and the t shirt as well. It's kind of weird, but good, very great taste of why you call it. Uh, why you call it as well? I don't know how to pronounce the word, but. Quite a good one. Well, as well. Um, we got Molly May. Um, Molly May did a really good work. He, she did really well. We got two. We really got two of them just right down with Germany. But ain't too bad. But this is first. It's like this, like this time, which is doing that. But ain't too bad at all. But German got zero. But we did it. We did it. Try because it's not just losing. It's just. A perfect masterpiece. It was masterpiece. Um, yeah, especially like Sam Ryder. He is a good taste of spirit, of a good taste of the music. It's been enjoyed by far last year, which is fantastic. So popular, it's fantastic. As well. The interval app was amazing, and um, especially especially the uh, last one, which was thirty seven, number thirty seven, which is our and our country with. And Catherine Tate is on too, and we got Catherine Tate in the building. I can't believe it was the, just that, just right at the back of the, um, like, in the like that inside the arena in Liverpool, which is quite odd. It's like weird. It's like odd, but I'm glad to see Catherine Tate in the building. And <laughs> I can't believe it's going to be Andrew. T um, it's coming. It's going to be Catherine. It's not Andrew Tate. Sorry about it. It's not Andrew Tate. It's Catherine Tate. Sorry about that. If you do know, if you do know, um, Catherine Tate, if you like a, or people around the world or America, or you know, do do know this, it's like a, um, um, a comedy show, which is like a sketch show, or like from the film I just been to last year, which is fantastic. Was, uh, who who dressed up as um, um, grandma or the nanny, what you call it, um, or granny, what you call it, and especially with the um. Funny stuff in, from the Catherine Tate show. If you do know Catherine, show for the Catherine Tate show on BBC, that was hilarious. Um, and last one has got to be a fantastic stuff. We got so so close for Finland, um, so close for Finland and Norway and stuff like that. Sweden did it really well. Lauren, it's the second time since twenty back in twenty twelve they done it right there, but now this time is the second time. 2023, which is like from 2020, 2012, which is before the London Olympics, and then 2023, just after the beginning. This is Sweden, won the Eurovision, heading to Sweden next year. That's it for another, that's it for this year. 
Heading to Liverpool, heading to Sweden or Stockholm, Swedish meatballs, PewDiePie, like uh, PewDiePie, and the uh, Swedish Swedish meatballs and stuff like that. IKEA, Swedish culture. Abba is going to be a birthday for Abba for a celebrate a uh, celebration or birthday anniversary of Abba next year. I'm looking forward to see what Abba's all about next year in Eurovision to make a a big, big massive good Abba Eurovision party next year. So excited. So that's it, and it's gonna be it. I'm gonna be late, heading into bed, hit the hay. Um, that tune goes in my head, which is Finland's entry with the cha, 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 cha. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, da, 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 da. That's a, that was going in my head a bit, especially the especially the Swedish um, entry, Lauren, Lauren, with the new music, new new music, like, but it's just this new. Make sure you could hear it on the radio and stuff like that of uh, this second time like this. Make sure you listen to it as well. So thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Um, congratulations in Swedish viewers. If you live in Sweden, congrats. Have a good day. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. It's now Sunday morning. And take care of yourself and goodbye.